Guys, this is Fish Hook. I'm Charles. Thanks for tuning in today. Uh, for some of you guys and ladies, this might be the first time you're checking out the channel. We're a full fishing, hunting, and cooking channel, preferably only in seafood, but I do deviate off the path every now and then. But today's uh, episode and uh, today's video especially is the beginning of the nicest time of the year, the holidays. We've got Thanksgiving and we've got Christmas and New Year's. Means a lot of eating and a lot of everybody watching their waistline. Well, I love appetizers. I love everything but appetizers especially. And in the world of seafood, uh, I, came, I came across a really cool recipe I want to share with everybody. Salmon mousse cups. Some re uh, regard mousse as a dessert and you can use it as that and some regard it as an appetizer. In today's video, I'm going to be mixing uh, in this little um, 24 cup mini muffin mix. We're going to do a two step mix. First one, we're going to mix up all the ingredients, bake, get the muffins ready, 10 minutes in the oven, then pull them out and then we're going to mix the rest of the mixture together. Put all that goodness in there, let it rest in the fridge for about two hours to cool down and then we're going to chow down. And uh, I think you guys are going to like this. It's easy to do. So stay tuned. I'm going to bring you in closer and I'll uh, give you a first shot at what all the ingredients are. Well, the first step in um, getting this delicious appetizer together, we've got a third of a cup of cream cheese, half a cup of butter, and a half a cup, or rather one cup of flour. We're going to mix the cream cheese and the butter together, get that really mixed smooth, and I might use the blender if I can. I'm going to try it by hand first, mix it up, and then we're going to add the flour and uh, put the finishing touch on. So let's get started. I let the butter and the cream cheese stay out for about a good hour or two as you can tell it got nice and soft so we're going to try to mix this and it's mixing real easy i don't want to use the mixer on this i want to hand mix this and get a good mixture going yeah this is easy now if you don't let it uh sit out and get room temperature Oh man, you're gonna to have to use the blender. It's just a lot more work for something that should be real simple. Okay, that's a good mix. Now we're gonna add the flour. We'll do a little at a time. This is a little bit out of my normal, my league doing um, uh, putting flour in anything because uh, that's more in baking and uh, you know, my, my daughters that is their expertise we'll add a little bit more now my pan is all greased and ready we're going to mix these hopefully we got enough to just line these uh, muffin tins out. Excellent. Excellent. So we'll get the muffin tins now and uh, we'll start uh, putting them in there. All right. We've got our oven set for 350. And uh, once we get these uh, delicious uh, mousse cups put in here then we're going to bake them for about 10 minutes so here's what we've got we're going to roll little balls put them in and just form them on the bottom and up the sides really by pushing your thumb in or your big finger in there you go you get a nice Well, here you have it guys 24 muffin tins ready to go into the oven all right oven just signal me it's ready 
10 minutes, 350. All right, now we're ready to uh, make our filling. What we've got here for ingredients, and we're going to mix it all together, we've got a whole stick, eight ounces of cream cheese, nice and soft. Got seven and a half ounces of sockeye salmon, drained, skin and bones all removed, a little bit of chopped onion, a couple of tablespoons of chicken bouillon broth, black pepper, salt, and then after we're going to garnish it with some ground fresh dill. So let's get started now mixing everything up. Right here. Right, we're just going to beat this into submission today. Let's get our uh, salmon. We'll put our onions in. It's going to make for a really nice filling. Pinch of black pepper pinch of salt. All the ingredients to this recipe will be in the links below. And then we're going to put in a couple of tablespoons of sour cream. All right, time to mix this up. Okay, these uh, shells came out beautiful. Easiest way to get them out. They cooled right down. They didn't take nothing to cool down, which was nice. There we go. I'm just working it out. Beautiful. I kept them in there close to 15 minutes at 350 uh, just a little better consistency and if I'm not careful they will break all right so we're gonna start we're gonna start filling these Look at that. Is that not delicious? Mm. I have all to do to hold back right now, even though they do have to uh, be refrigerated. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Great appetizer for the holidays. A seafood appetizer, no less. You don't really see a lot of that. But I'm always looking for a good appetizer in the seafood world that I can bring in all these gorgeous flavors. Well, two hours in the refrigerator and look at that. Is that not a beautiful sight? Now, the best part has come. Now we can get to taste it. Check that beautiful thing out. Everything came out really nice. It came out of the pan real good. Oh man, between the salmon and the cream cheese, I don't know what smells better, but this is what we've been waiting for. Oh yeah, a cup of coffee, <laughs> I get down about a dozen of these. This is delicious, easy to make, easy recipe. 
I will have the entire recipe and step-by-step -step instructions in the links below. Guys, I so appreciate you checking us out. Um, if you do make this recipe, let us know how, how good it came out. And if you got a little different twist on it, love to modify my recipe. You know, everything ha is to be modified. Again, guys, thanks again for watching. I hope you had a blast. Uh, I love doing these. These are really delicious recipes that uh, I've been producing. They come out as good as they look. You can trust me on this. I've gotten a lot of really cool comments from people that have uh, did the particular recipe, whether cooking a piece of fish or doing something like this, and they loved it. So it's believable. What you see here, you can believe. Again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you around on the next one.